All right, I'm joined by a special guest here once again this morning. We've got Eli Posta with me. He is a uh, freshman heading into sophomore year at Penn State University. I know, Ohio State, Buckeye, Penn State. But they've got an amazing meteorology school there, and that's what you're going for. So how's, how's it to be a Nittany Lion, okay? It's great. You're getting through it all right? Yeah. yeah. And you're diving into the meat and potatoes of meteorology, uh, yeah. and it's challenging, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of lots of math and yeah, science. Lots of math. Yeah, most of the models do that for us. That's the good news. We don't have to do a lot of yeah. that in the real world, but you're getting through it. And we're proud of you because you're from Beechwood and you're going to go on and do great things. And we're here to help you along the way. Um, Eli, I asked him if he wanted to do the weather and he said, absolutely not. And so here he is. He's going to give the first half of the forecast. So Eli, the floor is all yours with the weather impact here on this Wednesday. So for the rest of the week, we're looking at some showery weather today, staying comfortably, comfortably cool for the rest of the week. Right now, we're looking at temps right around 50 degrees for Cleveland, Mansfield, Worcester, Akron, and Ashtabula. Um, 54 degrees in downtown Cleveland, 53 degrees in Elyria, slightly cooler off to the south and east. And winds out of the east-southeast, six miles an hour downtown, three miles an hour in Akron. A little bit muggier today with 52 degrees in Cleveland, 50 in Akron, and 49 in Ravenna as our dew points. For radar, we have just some light showers around Cuyahoga County, but farther off towards the east, around Ashtabula, Geneva, Lenox, Pierpont, we have some heavier showers. And as I said, a couple drizzles around Shaker Heights, Auburn. Zooming out to seeing the bigger picture, we have the low pressure system off towards the west, um, which will be bringing more rain our way later today. Around 2 p.m., 4 p.m. later this afternoon, we'll see some rain with temps climbing near 60 degrees. Look at this kid. Awesome, <laughs> buddy. That was so good. All right, let's Thanks. give a round of applause. Yes, you at home. We can hear you. All right. Okay, there we go. All right. Eli, great job. That's awesome. All right. Thank uh, now, thanks for like, making him look bad. Uh, go make sure Briss is okay over in the weather center there. I think I heard her crying. She's usually crying over there. I'm not sure why. Uh, probably because she has to work with us. All right. Uh, your hourly forecast here brought to you by National Design Mart. Eli was mentioning that rain out east. A lot of that will lift towards the north, and then we'll just have a scattering of showers the rest of the day. Not a washout, but rain will be around on radar Cool with the clouds and the showers only in the low 60s this afternoon. The low lifts north tonight, so as a result, we'll clear skies out. We'll be in the 50s, perhaps a little patchy fog tomorrow morning. And then look at tomorrow, sunshine breaking back out. That'll be nice to see. We'll be in the 70s, pretty much area-wide. Can't rule out a pop-up shower in the afternoon as we'll have some residual moisture around. Not a lot of rain from here on out. However, we'll have to watch our southern counties. May get some rain in here on Friday. In terms of getting yard work done, yeah, not the best of days today. Tomorrow the day to do it. Friday, Saturday, we do have rain around. Temperatures have been below average, and we're going to stay below average, especially Saturday behind this front. It gets chilly. Another chilly Saturday around here. But then look at this. We are at average on Monday. It'll be the first day in 16 days that we go from below average temperatures to at average and we'll head above. And that's all with a big pattern change next week. Pop up chance for a shower tomorrow, as I mentioned. Otherwise, we'll keep an eye on this system Friday. Our model has it further north, so we could have rain around on Friday. The best chance of rain, though, and a guaranteed chance of rain is Friday night into Saturday with this front. That front slides through and then we get into this dry pattern. Finally, we're going to dry things out next week and we're going to warm things up as we replace this trough of cool air with the ridge that's been out west for much of the spring. Everything flip flops and we turn warm as a result. Mm -hmm. Medina Country Club 10 day forecast. We go from 61 Saturday into the low to mid 80s next week. Again, a nice dry stretch to get out in that lawn that you have the giant puddle in right now, Dave. Uh, we've been waiting for it. Yes, it's coming. <laughs> All right, Matt, thanks.